Whenever you're ready, quickly drop out of travel mode. Great! The next part will take place some distance from here, so let's take a break and let the autopilot do the hard work for now. The autopilot automatically navigates to the current objective. It engages travel mode when appropriate, makes use of gates, accelerators and highways. It even avoids obstacles in the way. Uh, well, mostly, which is why you still need to be at the controls. You may notice that it sometimes turns travel mode off when everything seems wide open to you. The safeties are on a bit of a hair trigger, probably to keep insurance rates from skyrocketing. While we wait, let's check out the logbook. There are several menus you can access this way. Open the one that's highlighted now. Here you have access to details about your current status and statistics. The logbook is highlighted. Open it now. As you can see, there are several categories. You can select one to filter the entries or look at all of them at once. Most of the tips you've seen up until now have been added to the logbook. You can always go back and reread them if you feel like you've missed or forgotten something. Take your time looking around these menus. Close them when you're ready to move on. If you're getting bored, you can disable the autopilot at any time and fly the rest of the way yourself. Unknown zone. Good, you've arrived. There's a ship next to you. Its color on your HUD indicates that it's not hostile. Please select it as your target. Cards. Match speed with your target. By the way, matching speed is even possible when both you and your target are in travel mode. I've now activated your primary weapon. The small dots that have just appeared indicate where the weapons are currently aiming. They will automatically track your current target as long as it's close enough. There are a handful of targets in front of you. Their hug color indicates that they are enemies. Note that the hunt markers of some targets are smaller. These targets are currently outside your weapon range. Select the closest enemy target. A new HUD element has appeared right in the center of the target. This is the aim ahead indicator. It shows you where you need to aim, which is especially useful if the target is moving. Slowly cycle through all the targets. When a target outside your weapon range has been selected, you can see the weapon indicators becoming darkened. The aim ahead indicator 
Terminator also changes its appearance. Select the closest enemy target again and shoot at it until it's destroyed. Destroying the targets. You'll need to move closer in order to hit some of them. If you look to the right of your crosshair, you will see bars next to weapons that gradually fill up when you are firing. This is heat. It automatically dissipates when you stop firing. This happens more slowly if there are multiple weapons coming down at the same time. Your weapon's just overheated. You will not be able to fire until they've reached a safe temperature. Car cargo drone. Cargo dr cargo drone. Cargo drone. Cargo drone. Cargo drone. Cargo drone. much sturdier than the others. Look at the blue bar above the target. This is its shield strength. After a few seconds without damage, it will begin to recharge. All shields work like this, including your own. Courier. Mineral. type of guided missile that requires a target lock. Please select the target in front of you. You can now see a lock being acquired. You may fire when ready. Cargo drone. Cargo drone. Cargo drone. The target has dropped something. Fly right at it to pick it up. Cargo drone. It's another type of missile. It has been automatically added to your ammunition storage. Missile launchers have limited ammunition. You can see the number of remaining missiles to the left of your crosshair. Let's go into more detail about your weapons. Open the ship menu. Cargo drone. Cargo drone. Cargo drone. 